All right, and welcome back to Doki Doki. I'm beginning to panic club. So, let's see. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's just Sayori's been written out of existence. And all these... And all these girls are gonna start, I think, turning into something weird now. I hope this isn't too overwhelming a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into li literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh. That was weird. Oh, come on! He deserves it. Like, he deserves any slack. You, al you already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan on to just come here and hang out or what, but you need to start taking a- but you- but if you don't start taking us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh. That's okay. Uh-oh. I can't read this. Big thing. I'm just stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Rick. We'll make sure to put you out of your comfort at first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Is it just me, or does this room seem kind of tilted? Uh, anyway, now that you're in the club after all, hall, perhaps we can start making you pick an interest in the book to read. Well, I can't really say no to I either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. It only feels like I... So it only feels right for, for me to ask to something like that if you ask. But wait, I didn't mean it like that. It, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Oh, not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read as often, I'd be happy to pick a book if you wanted me to. Are, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, I should help you get started on something you like. Yuri reaches and pulls out a book. I don't want you, I didn't want you to feel left out, so I thought I, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's called Green Eggs and Ham. Because I don't think you read a whole lot, do you? It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we all could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is this girl's how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She has to pick a booking I like, despite me not reading that much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled, Monica keeps off some scheduled activities for the club, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is always buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was ready to get this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Uh-oh. To talk to Yuri a little bit more. But I'd be sad to be distracted her for her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems like she'd be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. And my eyes face for a second. Uh, and my eyes face deeper in the book, sorry. I was facing out, and I'm just making her comfortable. Uh-oh, are we just going to go right back into this, or are they going to fuck us up again? Reading this, so uh, the book you gave me, right? Uh-huh, uh, okay, so here we are, back in the thing, so. Uh, okay. So, here we go, but this is, so, I'm Portrait of Mark, of Markov. Is that the first time we, we, we found out what book she gave us? This looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about a religious camp that turns into a human spirit about the wealth, which is about to turn into a machine. But the, the fact, the facility gets even worse and starts selective breeding and cutting off. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoil, but anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean, not that I'll think about the limbs. That's kind of, the, it's really dark, isn't it? You made something like it's gonna be nice to the dark turn came out of nowhere. Uh, well, you're not a fan of. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Rick? No, it's not bad. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I, I hope so. I totally forgot Yuri is into those things. She's so silent and reclusive on the outside, but she seems so completely different. It's just that's, that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When the horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. But the world is full of horrible people and we're all worth us anyway. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all, it's all right then. I feel like I could have this problem, you know? Then that, when I left my thought to the writing, my whole body... <laughs> She's like having these like spaz out moments where it's like she's like, I'm gonna find fucking Gallagher! Go. I mean, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, I, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop, quit, stop, stop me if I'm talking too much. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. I think you're just passionate about reading. 
The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... but uh, what were you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book in my bag. Alright. Alright, if it's fine, I'll sit here. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just I'm something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in the company of someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. I assume I'm starting to read about reading in company. It feels the presence of the shoulders I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe just a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. She reads in the corner of my head, then she reads it, not looking at her own book, and that's over, and she looks like she's reading from my book instead. I said, sorry. I was just bothering the fact of the heart of it. <laughs> you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ah. Uh, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against yours and hold my... Ah. Uh, I suppose so. So, here we go. We're about to... Uh, we're about to start reading again, but she's, I guess, having some glitches here on the Matrix. Well, I was right. One of these, like, little still image portions was gonna start turning into something really fucking sinister, so... That way, it's on the kids of size on us. It's on the falling of this. I'm hiding a puzzle together before. It's actually kind of distracting. It's almost like I feel the world. You ready? I'm sorry. <laughs> yep, so here we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's new. No, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking of the way that she, she second guesses things and all that. Uh, uh. That's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something about her hair, about else about her. Something else? But never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. I don't know, so I don't know why that came out of my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest a bit if you're, if you're feeling sick or something. Breathe. You're breathing a little. My breathing? Puts her hands on her chest and her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Hmm. So that is a little different from what we got before. Here it stands a project rush. What on earth was that about? Rick, did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Here was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, it's almost, it's, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyways, why don't we start with our poems with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a little wild, so I figured we might get started without her. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. Make mental note of where I left that book, slip the book back into my bag. Well, let's talk to Natsuki first, maybe. All right, it's just important that it's probably only fair if she read mine first. Well, that's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little. Oh wait, I think this is all stuff that I've heard. Yeah. Okay, so now. Hi, Rick. So they give us that little skip option. I think most visual novels, especially ones that you find on Steam, will will do that if you get to a point that you've actually read a lot of the same things before. So that little skip icon, I think, will come up. Um, and if it does, I'll probably just skip ahead so that way it doesn't... It's, it's not... I'm not reading the same thing over and over. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities we can focus on, it better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid, afraid to bring these things up, okay? I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring this up. I'm much better off of going to the floor until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Rick. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But that's the sort of barrier we'll have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Rick. I was going ooh in my head when I was reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure 
what you... But I didn't expect something for you so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to, to keep everyone's expectations low. I'm, I, I'm like, really not, like, up to making sarcastic quips like I usually am after what just happened, so it's a little weird, um... So I'll try to keep this interesting. If I think of a sarcastic, uh, sarcastic zinger, I'll, I'll throw it out, but, um... Yeah, right now we are in... We're in deep water, aren't we? <laughs> That's not very far, but I guess it worked anyway. You know, that Yuri Lux is kind of writing, right? It's full of imagery and symbolism. Detached from reality. I mean, it's like, it's, I feel, I don't mean like it's a bad thing, though. Sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. Spends too much time in her own head at probably a more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy, and you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social, so, blah, for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on, on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think she gets too stimulated when she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Some of the door. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Uh, already? I'm sorry for being so late. No need to apologize. We'll still have plenty of time and I'm uh, be more than... Uh, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose, I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident with somebody now. I tend to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel like that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are others? Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply just flat? Are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling plays tricks in my ears. The rooms begin to crinkle, closing in. The air I breathe before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swelling my feels, I put. I brandish my pen, and then she stabs me with her pen. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not the right person to talk to this feedback. Nah, that's okay. That's the style that- yeah, that style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. There's a lot of poems I've been putting on emphasis, and there's a skip button, so I'm just gonna do that, so. Alright, let's see what Yuri says. And we will see what she says next time. <laughs>